Well, hello there fellas and welcome back to another episode of How to Android Soundboard. So today we want to add a little method to our app that will help us handle all the update processes of our app. For that one we want to get into our Soundboard activity because that's the first activity that will be started when someone starts the app and we want to create a new private method that will return a boolean and we're calling that one app update and then we can just return false as the default return value and what we want to do now is we want to get the current version code of our app that will be saved in here in the built gradle of our app and we want to compare this version with a version code that we saved in a so-called shared preferences file that's a uh, well a little file that will be be safe to your to the user's device where our app can set or get values and uh, so we can well compare these versions and well return true if that's an app update and also you probably should know that to update your app in the Google Play Store you have to increase this version code so that's the basics about that. So let's get right into this method. And for our shared preferences, we need a name for the file. It's gonna be a final string prefs underscore name. And we're naming it uh, version pref. Then uh, we need a name for our uh, key where we store the value of the version code. That uh, will be version underscore code. And finally, we need an well a default value for this key if it doesn't already exist. So I'm just calling that doesn't exist and will be equal to minus one. Okay. So next thing we want to do is to get the current version code. First we will define an integer current version code and we will initialize it with the value zero. So it will definitely be set if this next method won't work. And let me just catch the error for this try block. So that's gonna be on a package manager dot name not found exception. And if this exception is called we want to lock an error by get message. And now in this try block, we want to get our current version code from our package manager through the get package info method. And we want all the info about our package. Uh, we want the version code of our uh, of our package. So now we have the current version code. Next thing we need is the safe version code. For that one, we will need a shared preferences object. Call that one prefs, and it will get the shared preferences file with the name prefs name, and. We will use this in mode private, so only our app will have access to this 
show preference is fine. And one thing you probably want to know is that the get share preferences method will create a prefer shared preferences file if this doesn't exist. And also this the next method. So we want to get our safe version code. And we're getting that through prefs dot get integer of the version code key. And if that key doesn't exist, it will set it to, well, minus one. So before we can compare the current version code and the safe version code, we'll need a shared preferences editor to, well, save all the edits we're going to make to this key and key value. So I'm calling this one editor or just edit and I will be press.edit. So the only thing we have to do now is to compare the current version code with the safe version code and if the current version code is bigger than the safe version code we want to well first of all return true but not at the top of that but well that's an app update and we also want to edit our value of the key so pref version code key this will then be set to the current version code and to save this edit we need to call edit commit so well that's all for this little method it doesn't change a lot but we can try to call it so we have to check if that's an app update. So if app update, we want to log a debug message, log tag, and this will say, well, yeah, app update. <laughs> okay, now we can test if this method works. So first of all, we have to uninstall our app to test it right. And now we can just run the app and open the Android monitor to see the debug message. So it started successfully and there's an app update because that's the first run of our app. So we can allow the, the um, permissions there. And then the next thing we want to test if we increase the version code here, if it also will apply that. And it will also see that this is an update. So restart that and wait in and it also is an update so well this method works fine and well that's it for this episode uh, leave a like or a comment down below if I helped you or if you need help and well I will see you in the next video bye bye